Hey Jarvis, are you up? Will you sir or wait? Find me the scenes where all the Avengers are assembled. At your service, sir. Nope. 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 What is it you're trying to achieve, sir? Nope. Yeah, this the one. Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and welcome to another Toy News. Great news today, Bandai has finally announced 4 SHV Guards from the very first Avengers movie which was dated uh, way back in 2012. Okay, so let's begin with our Captain America right over here whereby the very first uh, noticeable difference is he have a battle dirty <laughs> shield, okay? So it looks pretty good. I mean, uh, it kind of reminds me of the um, SHV Quads Captain vs. Captain, the one that is for the Avengers Endgame. But um, other than the shield, I think it's almost the same figure and we can see some back view of him, the <laughs> American S. That is America's ass. And the next scenes, of course, is the very funny scenes where he start to direct the police on what to do. Far back is 39th. Why the hell should I take orders from you? And the next picture is a very cool pose of Captain America right over here. And we can see two things in these pictures. First of all, of course, he's having another shield, which is a clean one. And of course, he's also having a different head sculpt that you can see, which I believe um, some of my friends actually told me this head does not come with the Captain vs. Captain uh, Captain America. And the last picture for this Captain America is with the Thor that you can see right now. And from this picture, we can see an unmasked head of Steve Rogers. So I'm not sure whether they are actually providing this head sculpt or is this head sculpt actually from the Captain vs. Captain set. And right up next, we'll take a look at Hulk, which looks pretty good there. The next picture, we can see the back wheel of him, looking very similar to the Infinity War Hulk. But the next picture will show you that it's actually quite different in terms of the head. Yep, like I mentioned before, uh, this head, uh, although it's uh, also an open mouth head, whereby the Infinity War have the same head, but it looks very different. Um, somehow, this doesn't look as good as the Infinity War Hulk. For this next picture, we can see the Hawk smash pose looking pretty good there. And also this next picture is whereby Captain America is telling him to smash. And Hulk! <sighs> smash! And yet again, this picture does show three things that we should take notes of. First of all, of course, is the head sculpt, whereby it's actually the first time that we saw Hulk smile. <sighs> The second thing is, this is actually pointed out by my friend that he's having a hairy chest whereby the Infinity War one is pretty clean. <laughs> and also the third thing is also actually noticed by my friend, he's actually having an articulatable fingers that you can see right over there. So you might ask, why does Hulk need a fingers that is movable? Of course, this next picture will explain everything. And I will not be bullied by that! This is whereby he smash Loki in a very very funny moment. And the next one is I believe whereby a lot of you guys including myself is actually waiting for. It is Thor. Wow, he just looks amazing. I mean this is the Thor that I've been waiting for. Not the very first Thor that they released. This is like an upgrade, full upgrade of the Thor. Wow, this looks pretty good. My goodness, and even the face looks exactly like Chris Hemsworth, my goodness, this I think this is in my most wanted list. And in the next picture, you can also see it also comes with an accessory for the Mjolnir swinging effects. Yep, looking pretty good there. Wow, this is actually very nice. And of course, the last one is we can see some lightning effects, which I believe they actually reuse the lightning effects that comes from the Captain America for the uh, uh, Final Battle Avengers Endgame. And lastly, of course, is also what I actually wanted most is the Iron Man Mark VI. Wow, it's actually looking very good. Although we already have a Mark VI around, but this one just looks very, very tempting to me because 
uh, other than Mark II, Mark VI is actually one of my favorite armor and he does look very very good okay and then there's another reason whereby I wanted him well, I'll share with you guys later okay so let's admire this uh, front and the back look of it wow this looks very very nice and in the next picture you can see some action pose yep so this one does looks very good and I do notice something different there if you notice uh, his hand the blasting effect is looking slightly different I mean it's as compared to all the Iron Man blast effects that we have yeah, I think they actually improvised this effect and as for the next scene, this is also my favorite whereby he actually, you know, used this laser attack during this fight scenes with war machines. And the next picture shows that he's in the flying mode and again, I do notice that the effects for his leg is actually different, okay, so they finally change the effects for good and this next picture actually shows two things whereby the first very noticeable thing is it is indeed a different effects for the blasting uh, from his hand is very much longer and the shape is also very different and the second thing is i believe you will have noticed is has a better damage parts for his helmet as well as for his front armor so this is the next reason why i wanted this mask so badly because as you can see my goodness wow <laughs> it just reminds me a lot of hot toys you know wow this looks very very good with the uh, the battle damage on his helmet as well as you can see part of his you know inner inner parts of his um the armor wow <laughs> it just looks very very good and of course, the last picture will show you all the accessories that this Mark VI comes with. And I was right, the blast effects has already been changed. And they also given us uh, a longer plus the shorter version. And I like the laser one and of course the better damage parts that we can see over there. Wow, this Mark VI for me, it's pretty hard to pass on something as amazing as this one. And because like I say, it is just announced today, so there is no pricing for this four yet, but there are some release date for them already. Okay, so we can see that for the Iron Man, Captain America as well as Thor, it will be released next year, April. But as for Hulk, it will be a month later, which is on May. Yep, so I hope you like this toy news. Do give me a thumbs up if you like it. And of course, I hope to hear from you. Uh, which one are you uh, really get you interested on? Is it Thor? Is it Captain America? Or is it Hulk? Or the Iron Man Mark VI? And before you leave, of course, I hope you will check out my playlist at the top right corner. And also do browse around my channel for more interesting toy news such as this one. And I'll see you again in those toy news. Bye!